It is time for the highs and lows of the week. And our first high on this NFL playoff Sunday goes to the undisputed MVP of last week's games. Her name is Donna Kelsey. On Sunday, Donna had a dilemma most parents can relate to. You've got two kids with games on the same day in two different places. In Donna's case, the kids are Pro Bowl NFL stars and the places are Tampa and Kansas City. Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey was playing Tom Brady's Buccaneers in Tampa in the afternoon, and Chiefs star tight end Travis Kelsey had a game in Kansas City that night. So, Donna started the day in Tampa cheering on Jason and the Eagles. After a tough loss to the Bucs, Donna hopped on a rickshaw outside of Raymond James Stadium to take her to an Uber she had called for a ride to the airport. After a quick wardrobe change, Donna boarded her flight from Tampa to Kansas City. Even with a 30-minute delay, she hustled to Arrowhead Stadium just in time to see her son Travis, who usually catches touchdowns, throw his first TD pass in the NFL as the Chiefs rolled to victory. And Donna did not come all that way not to see her son after the game, even if it meant crashing the post-game press conference. Uh, we'll go first to Donna Kelsey. I'm sorry, what? You know, yes, it's it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> How good did that feel after all these years? Oh, man. To finally throw a touchdown like I used to tell my mom when I was like five years old. I was going to eventually throw a touchdown in the National Football League. Uh, I finally got it done. It only took me nine years. <laughs> That's amazing. There's another big game tonight in Kansas City for Travis and, more importantly, for Donna. Our first low goes to a sign of our times from the woman who stopped to grab some content for social media as her car was sinking into an icy river. It happened on the Rideau River in Manatick, Ontario, just outside of Ottawa. The driver apparently assumed the cold January temperatures meant the frozen river would hold her car as she sped across, taking the shortcut. The yellow vehicle hit a thin patch, though, and cracked through that ice. She's on top of the car. She's going in. Hurry up, Doug. As the car began to sink into the ice, quick-thinking neighbors sprang into action, grabbing a rope and attaching it to a kayak so they could pull the driver to safety. But first things first, got to get that selfie standing on the back window of the car as it slowly slips into the abyss. The driver was unharmed, thank goodness, but she has been charged with one count of dangerous operation of a vehicle. We're very glad she's okay and hope she put a fun filter on that slipping toward an icy death selfie. Our next high goes to a reporter named Tori Yorgi at our Huntington, West Virginia affiliate, WSAZ, who became a viral star this week after she was hit by a car while giving a live report on a water main break. The big headline as you watch this, Tori is just fine. Unfortunately, in freeze thaw, we see this water main breaks. I just got hit by a car, but I'm okay. I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's first um, I'm okay. TV, Tori. Woo! We're all good. Okay? I'm okay. Yeah, you know, that's live TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college, too, just like that. Wow. I am so glad I'm okay. Yeah. You're okay. We are so glad you're okay, too, Tori. My goodness. She pops right up, assuring the audience and the driver who hit her that she's all right before continuing with her live report. Tori did go to a hospital as a precaution, but she checked out just fine. For decades, in smaller markets, reporters like Tori have gone out as one-man bands, setting up the camera and the audio, doing the reporting all on their own. That can lead to dangerous situations like the one we saw there. The 25-year-old has been surprised by her viral fame this week, just as she is about to start a job at a news station in Pittsburgh. Hopefully people don't look at me and say, oh, that's the reporter that got hit by the car. I hope, I hope they look at me and, you know, are like, oh, okay, she's Tori. She's going to go out and tell us in impacting stories. She is tough. We're wishing Tori good luck and maybe a little less impacting at the new gig. Our final low goes to the winter sigh heard round the world that turned a Toronto boy into a social media sensation this week. Nine-year-old Carter Trozzolo was interviewed while shoveling out from another massive Canadian snowstorm. And frankly, he's just sick and tired of it. His visible exhaustion with the weather resonated with people on the Internet as he described the pain of his snow day turning into a work day. Tiring. 
friends, probably people I even don't know. <sighs> I really wish I was in school right now. <laughs> That sigh. You know it's bad when kids are pleading to return to school. Hang in there, big guy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.